In the boiling points lab, we're going to determine the boiling points of various substances. Here's what we know. Different substances have different physical and chemical properties including color, density, odor, and boiling point. These substances can be identified by their properties. If a liquid is heated, it will eventually boil. We will find the boiling point of water by heating it with a thermometer in it. We will check the thermometer every 15 seconds. When the water starts to boil, the temperature will stop rising. That is the boiling point of that liquid. We will collect the data on a chart and then graph it on a temperature versus time graph. We can see that the water starts at 27 degrees Celsius. As the stove starts to heat up, the temperature of the water begins to increase. Remember, temperature is a physical property. It's not a good one that can be used to identify unknown substances, but it is a physical property. Phase changes, such as boiling, are a physical change. The boiling point will remain the same regardless of how much of the substance there is, so it is a good way to identify unknown substances. We can see by the bubbles that the water has started to boil. We also see on the graph the temperature is no longer rising. It has plateaued at 99.7 degrees. We'll round that to 100 degrees Celsius. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Let's get a better look at the graph. Here we can see the temperature was increasing at a mostly steady rate until around 300 seconds. Then the temperature plateaued at right around 100 degrees Celsius. That is the boiling point of the water. Here, 50 milliliters of acetone was heated for six minutes. You can see the temperature increasing and eventually levels off at the boiling point. Here is a graph of that data. Here is data for 50 milliliters of isopropanol, also called rubbing alcohol. You can see the temperature increasing until it reaches the boiling point and then the temperature plateaus. Here is a graph of that data. Here is a chart of various liquids and their boiling points in degrees Celsius. You can see that some substances have the same boiling point. Others do not. Boiling point is a good property to identify unknown substances because no matter how much the substance there is, the boiling point will always be the same.